Greetings and salutations, this is Guru Matt here with my first look at the prison editor for The Escapist 2. Now, first things first, you should know that you need to make sure you have everything in this checklist in order to make a fully functioning prison, but you can actually change the checklist around a little bit by changing up the routine. Every item in the routine that is in red is completely optional, and if you make it go away, it removes the item from the checklist. So say you have a shower room and you're like, I don't want a shower room. I, I'd just rather not have it. Go ahead and get rid of it. No more shower room. Same thing's true for exercise time. You don't need a gym. Meal time for uh, the meal hall. And uh, of course, job time for the jobs. This makes it so that the prison isn't as tied to prison routines and uh, makes it so that people have more time to escape. I kind of like that option. Or maybe you just want to troll everyone by making it so that every other time is roll call. You can do that as well. You can also change up the prison settings over here. Uh, from medium, which is the normal experience, to easy, you get more items and desks, guards are easier to beat up, and prisoners like you more. To all the way to hard, guard desks contain a lot less items, guards are a lot tougher, and inmates hate you a lot. You can also change up this desk spawn rate so that various items have uh, different spawns. So like if you don't want any common items you can be like yeah I'd rather have more rare items or maybe you want to make a fight club of a prison you can turn everything into weapons that sort of thing. Whatever your heart desires. And of course this little info button over here allows you to change your prison name, prison description, take a screenshot, let people see what they're in for. As, it, as to the various items, uh, a lot of the rooms are pre-made, uh, so you kind of have to go with whatever they've made for you. Uh, you don't really have the option currently to make your own stuff, so you kind of have to go with what they got. You can add little bits around it and make it pretty, but uh, for the checklist items, you actually have to go with the various things in the checklist. I do want to point out that there are only two floors and a roof so you can only have things too tall um, but you can do certain things like if you didn't have a roll call on the very bottom floor uh, you can actually put one on top of the roof and it, uh, there's also an air escape you can put up here as well as on the second floor and then on the first floor you know, there's a couple of land escapes up to 20 various cars some of them indoors and then uh, some of them outdoors and then uh, there's three different water escapes. You got this here, you got that there, and you got that there. And of course the one air escape you put in various places. You can only have four unique escapes up at once outside of the various perimeter. You know, basically the perimeter escape is all around the map. And these of course are tied to the unique escapes inside. Uh, we don't have anything more than these just yet. I'm hoping in the future update we'll be able to see them. Well, that's a basic rundown for the prison editor. I hope you enjoyed. If you like my content, please remember to hit the subscribe button and uh, hit notifications so you know when I'm live. I do stream a lot. If you enjoy my content, please hit the like button as well. It really helps me out. I hope you uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, good luck escaping.